Greetings friends, it's me John Ross and I'm here with another fun-filled science activity for you. Today we're talking about states of matter and in the state of South Carolina we really begin exploring states of matter in the second grade. However, we continue to explore solids, liquids, and gases as we move on up through the various grade levels. So this is really an activity that you can do in a number of grade levels. That being said, today we're going to be focusing on balance scales because our kids are expected to know how to use, but they're also expected to know how to read the balance scale as well. However, they might know that, oh, well, I put this thing up in here and I put some of these things up in there and we balance it out. Woohoo, we're done. But they might not really know how to, you know, figure out how much these objects weigh. And so, <clears throat> the intent is to set up just a nice, fun, little friendly activity so that they can practice using that balance scale. And I've created a little data table for my students. They've got a spoon. They've got a toy car, they've got some string, some sticky notes, batteries, and magnets. And these are just a variety of objects that I had laying around the classroom that I could easily and quickly pull together with uh, a different or differing weights, if you will. And so the columns within this data table is where I've list these objects. And the row here is where the students are to record the weight of the various objects. So let's look here. In our first column, we've got a spoon. So I'm going to put a spoon in here. And we notice, of course, what happened. Well, it became unbalanced. Well, we must fix that, right, students? So I'm going to come over here to my container of some uh, weights, and I'm going to place some weights up in there. Well, okay, this spoon's not super heavy, so I don't probably want to use a 50-gram piece. Of so I'm going to put a 5-gram piece. Oh, my. The spoon weighs more than 5 grams. Maybe I should try another 5 grams. 5 plus 5 is 10. Oh, the spoon is still too heavy. we got to balance it out, so we got to throw some more weight up in there. I'm going to try another 5 grams, see what happens. All right, we're getting closer. That's 15. Let me try another 5. There's 20, and at that point, it's pretty well balanced. So, my students can take their writing utensil and note that the spoon weighs 20 grams. And then they can move on to, say, the magnet, which is the next object. So, we have to empty our weights, empty, take out our spoon, and let's put the magnet up in there. Again, it's unbalanced, so we must add some weights up in there. Well, that's a, the, the magnet's a little bit heavier than the spoon, so maybe I'm going to try a 10-piece. 10-piece is not heavy enough. Let me try another 10-piece. 20, 30, and we're getting there. Let's try 40. 40 is too much, so at this point, of course, I need to take out my 10 piece I just put in there. So that's 30 grams up in there. Now I'll try a five piece. That's 35. And it is well balanced. So at this point, again, my students will come over here and record the magnet is 35 grams. And they would just continue to do that as they work their way through the various objects. And this just gives them an opportunity to firsthand problem solve. And that's what I have noticed with some of my students is that they have difficulty perhaps figuring out, well, what do I need to do to make it balance? Well, I need to take out a, a heavier weight and replace it perhaps with a lighter weight. Um, and it allows them to integrate and see how the math can be tied into the activity, of course. And that's pretty much it. Friends, I thank you so much for tuning in, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a good one.